This is the eighth reading. We are in Genesis chapter 35. We will start reading in verse 1. And God said unto Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel, and dwell there, and make thee an altar unto God, that appeared unto thee when thou fleddest from the face of Esau thy brother. Then Jacob said unto his household, and all that were with him, Put away the strange gods that are among you, and be clean, and change your garments, and let us arise, and go up to Bethel. And I will make there an altar unto God, who answered me in the day of my distress, and was with me in the way which I went. And they gave unto Jacob all the strange gods which were in their hand, and all their earrings which were in their ears. And Jacob hid them under the oak, which was by Shechem. And they journeyed, and the terror of God was upon the cities that were round about them. And they did not pursue after the sons of Jacob. So Jacob came to Luz, which is in the land of Canaan, that is, Bethel. He and all the people that were with him, and he built there an altar and called the place El Bethel, because there God appeared unto him when he fled from the face of his brother. But Deborah, Rebekah's nurse, died, and she was buried beneath Bethel under an oak, and the name of it was called Alon Bacchath. And God appeared unto Jacob again when he came out of Padan Aram and blessed him. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob, thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. And the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed after thee will I give the land. And God went up from him in the place where he talked with him. And Jacob set up a pillar in the place where he talked with them, even a pillar of stone, and he poured a drink offering thereon, and he poured oil thereon. And Jacob called the name of the place where God spake with him Bethel. And they journeyed from Bethel, and there was but a little way to come to Ephrath. And Rachel travailed, and she was in she had hard labor, and it came to pass when she was in hard labor that the midwife said unto her, Fear not, thou shalt have this son also. And it came to pass, as her soul was in departing, for she died, that she called his name Benoni, but his father called him Benjamin. And Rachel died and was buried in the way to Ephrath, which is Bethlehem. And Jacob set a pillar upon her grave, that is, the pillar of Rachel's grave, unto this day. And Israel journeyed and spread out his tent beyond the tower of Edar. And they came to a place when Israel dwelt in that land that Reuben went and lay with Bilhah, his father's concubine, and Israel heard of it, heard it. Now the sons of Jacob were twelve, the sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, and Issachar, and Zebulun, the sons of Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin, and the sons of Bilhah, Rachel's handmaid, Dan, and Naphtali, and the sons of Zilpah, Leah's handmaid, Gad, and Asher. These are the sons of Jacob, which were born to him in Padan Aram. And Jacob came unto Isaac his father, unto Mamre, unto the city of Arba, which is Hebron, where Abraham and Isaac sojourned. And the days of Isaac were an hundred and fourscore years, and Isaac gave up the ghost and died, and was gathered unto his people, being old and full of days. And his sons Esau and Jacob buried him. Chapter 36 now these are the generations of Esau, who is Edom. Esau took his wives of the daughter of Canaan, Ada, and the daughter of Elon, the Hittite, and Ahalabama, the daughter of Ana, and the daughter of Zibion, the, Hi the Hivite, and Bashamath, Ishmael's daughter, sister of Nebajoth. And Ada bare to Esau Eliphaz, and Bashamath bare Ruel, and Ahalabama bared Jaish and Jaalim, and Korah. These are the sons of Esau, which were born unto him in the land of Canaan. And Esau took his wives and his sons and his daughters and all the persons of his house and his cattle and all his beasts and all his substance, which he had got in the land of Canaan, 
and went into the country from the face of his brother Jacob. For their riches were more than they might dwe- were more more than they might dwell together, and the land wherein they were strangers could not bear them because of their cattle. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. And these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites, in Mount Seir. These are the names of Esau's sons, Eliphaz, the son of Ada, the wife of Esau, Reel, and the son of Bashamath, the wife of Esau. And the sons of Eliphaz were Teman, Omar, Zepho, and Gatam, and Kenaz, and Timnah, the concu- was concubine to Eliphaz, Esau's son. And she bare to Eliphaz Amalek. These were the sons of Ada, Esau's, Esau's wife. And these are the sons of Reuel, Nahath, and Zerah, and Shammah, and Mizah. These are the sons of Bashamath, Esau's wife. And these were the sons of Ahalabama, the daughter of Ana, the daughter of Zibion, Esau's wife. And she bare to Esau Jaish, and Jalem, and Korah. These were the dukes of the sons of Esau, the sons of Eliphaz, the firstborn son of Esau, Duke Teman, Duke Omar, Duke Zepho, Duke Kenaz, Duke Korah, Duke Gatam, and Duke Amalek. These are the dukes that came of Eliphaz in the land of Edom. These were the sons of Ada. And these are the sons of Reuel, Esau's son, Duke Nahath, Duke Zerah, Duke Shammah, Duke Mizah, these are the dukes that came of rule in the land of Edom. These are the sons of Bashamath, Esau's wife. And these are the sons of Ahalabama, Esau's wife. Duke Jaish, Duke Jalem, Duke Korah. These were the dukes that came of Ahalabama, the daughter of Ana, Esau's wife. These are the sons of Esau, who is Edom, and these are their dukes. These are the sons of Seir, Seir, the Horite, who inhabited the land, Lotan, and Shobal, and Zibion, and Anah, and Dishon, and Ezer, and Dishan. These are the dukes of the Horites, the children of Seir in the land of Edom. And the children of Lotan were Horai, and Hemam, and Lotan's sister was Timnah. And the children of Shobal were these, Alvan, and Manahath and Ebal, and Shepho, and Onam. And these are the children of Zibion, both Aja and Ana. This was that Ana that found the mules in the wilderness as he fed the asses of Zibion, his father. And the children of Ana were these, Dishon and, Hal- and, Ahalib- and Ahalibama, the daughter of Ana. And these are the children of Dishon, Himdan, and Eshban, and Ithran, and Kiran. The children of Ezer are these, Bilhan, and Zeavan, and Achan. The children of Dishan are these, Uz, and Aaron. These are the dukes that came of the Horites, Duke Lotan, Duke Shobal, Duke Zibion, Duke Ana, Duke Dishan, Duke Ezer, Duke Dishan. These are the dukes that came of Horai, among their dukes in the land of Seir. And these are the kings that reigned in the land of Edom before they reigned before there reigned any king over the children of Israel. And Bela, the son of Boar, uh, Beor, reigned in Edom. And the name of his city was Dinheba. And Bela died, and Jobab the son of Zerah and Basra reigned in his stead. And Jobab died, and Husham and the land of Husham of the land of, Tim, of Timani reigned in his stead. And Husham died. And Hadad, the son of Bedad, who smote Midian in the field of Moab, reigned in his stead, and the name of his city was Avith. And Hadad died, and Samla of Masrika reigned in his stead. And Samla died, and Saul of Rehoboth by the river reigned in his stead. And Saul died, and Baal Hanan, the son of Akbor, reigned in his set in his stead. And Baal Hanan, the son of Akbor, died, and Hadar reigned in his stead, and the name of his city was Peu. And his wife's name was uh, Mehedabel, the daughter of Matred, the daughter of Mezahab. And these are the names of the dukes that came of Esau according to their families after their places by their names Duke Timnah, Duke Alva, Duke Jetheth, 
Duke Alabama, Duke Ela, Duke Pinon, Duke Kenas, Duke Teman, Duke Mi uh, Mibzar, Duke Magdiel, Duke Iram. These be the dukes of Edom, according to their habitations in the land of their possession. He is Esau, the father of the Edomites. Chapter 37. And Jacob dwelt in the land wherein the father, where, wherein his father was a stranger, in the land of Canaan. These are the generations of Jacob. Joseph, being seventeen years old, was feeding with the flock with his brethren, and the lad was with the sons of Bilhah, and with the sons of Zilpah, his father's wives. And Joseph brought unto his father their evil report. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children, because he was, a son, he was the son of his old age. And he made him a coat of many colors. And when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceably unto him. And Joseph dreamed a dream, and he told it his brethren, and they hated him yet the more. And he said unto them, here, I pray ye, this dream which I have dreamed, for behold, we were binding sheaves in the field, and lo, my sheaf arose, and also stood upright, and behold, your sheaves stood round about, and made obeisance to my sheaf. And his brethren said to him, Shalt thou indeed reign over us, or shalt thou indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his words. And he dreamed yet another dream and told it his brethren and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. And he told it to his father and to his brethren. And his father rebuked him and said unto him, What is this dream that thou hast dreamed? Shall I and thy mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down ourselves to thee to the earth? And his brethren envied him. But his father observed the saying. And his brethren went to feed their father's flock in Shechem. And Israel said unto Joseph, Do not thy brethren feed the flock in Shechem? Come, and I will send thee unto them. And he said to them, Here am I. And he said to him, Go, I pray thee, see whether it be well with thy brethren, and well with the flocks, and bring me word again. So he went him out of the vale of Hebron, and he came to Shechem. And a certain man found him, and behold, he was wandering in the field. And the man asked him, saying, What seekest thou? And he said, I seek my brethren. Tell me, I pray thee, where they feed their flocks. And the man said, They are departed hence, for I heard them say, Let us go to Dothan. And Joseph went after his brethren and found them in Dothan. And when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. And they said one to another, Behold, this dreamer cometh. Come now, therefore, and let us slay him and cast him into some pit. And we will say, Some evil beast hath devoured him, and we shall see what will become of his dreams. And Reuben heard it, and he delivered him out of their hands and said, Let us not kill him. And Reuben said unto them, Shed no blood, but cast him into this pit that is in the wilderness, and lay no hand upon him, that he might rid him out of their hands, to deliver him to his father again. And it came to pass, when Joseph came, uh, was come unto his brethren, that they stripped Joseph out of his coat, his coat of many colors that was on him. And they took him and cast him into a pit, and the pit was empty, there was no water in it, and they sat down to eat bread, and they lifted up their eyes, and look, and behold, a company of Ishmaelites came from Gilead with their camels, bearing spicery and balm and myrrh, going to carry it down to Egypt. And Judah said unto his brethren, What profit, it, what profit is it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood? Come, let us sell him. To the Ishmaelites, and let not our hand be upon him, for he is our brother and our flesh. And his brethren were content. Then there passed by Midianites, merchantmen, and they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for twenty pieces of silver. And they brought Joseph into Egypt. 
And Reuben returned into the pit, and behold, Joseph was not in the pit. And he rent his clothes, and he returned into his brethren and said, The child is not, and I, whither shall I go? And they took Joseph's coat and killed a kid of the goats and dipped the coat in the blood, and they sent the coat of many colors, and they brought it to their father and said, This have we found. Know thou no now whether it be thy son's coat or no. And he knew it and said, It is my son's coat. An evil beast hath devoured him. Joseph is without doubt rent in pieces. And Jacob rent his clothes and put sackcloth upon his loins and mourned for his son many days. And all his sons and all his daughters rose up to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted. And he said, For I will go down into the grave unto my son mourning. Thus his father wept for him, and the Midianites sold him into Egypt unto Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh's and captain of the guard. Chapter 38 And it came to pass at that time that Judah went down from his brethren and turned into a certain Adulamite, whose name was Hira. And Judah saw there a daughter of a certain Canaanite, whose name was Shua. And he took her and went in unto her, and she conceived and bare a son, and he called his name Ur. And she conceived again and bare a son, and she called his name Onan. And she yet conceived, and yet again conceived, and bare a son, and called his name Shelah. And he was at Kezib. And she bare him, and Judah took a wife for Ur, his firstborn, whose name was Tamar. And Ur, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord slew him. And Judah said unto Onan, Go in unto thy brother's wife, and marry her, and raise up seed to thy brother. And Onan knew that the seed should not be his, and it came to pass that he went in unto his brother's wife, that he spilled it on the ground, lest that he should give seed to his brother. And the thing which he did displeased the Lord, wherefore he slew him also. Then said Judah to Tamar, his daughter-in-law, Remain a widow at thy father's house, house till Shelah, my son, be grown. For he said, Lest peradventure he die also, as his brethren did. And Tamar went and dwelt in her father's house. In the process of time, the daughter of Shua, Judah's wife, died. And Shua was comforted and went up into his up unto his sheep shearers to Timnath, he and his friend Hira the Adulamite. And it was told Tamar, saying, Behold, thy daughter-in-law goeth up to Timnath to shear his sheep. And she put her widow's garments off from her and covered her with a veil and wrapped herself and sat in an open place, which is by the way to Timnath. For she saw, for she saw that Shelah was grown and she was not given unto him to wife. When Judah saw her, he thought her to be an harlot, because she had covered her face. And he turned unto her by the way and said, Go to, I pray thee, let me come in unto thee. For he knew not that she was his daughter-in-law. And she said, What wilt thou give me, if thou mayest come in unto me? And he said, I will send thee a kid from the flock. And she said, Wilt thou give me a pledge till thou send it? And he said, what pledge shall I give thee? And she said, Thy signet, and thy bracelets, and thy staff that is in thy hand. And he gave it her, and came in unto her, and she conceived by him. And she arose, and went away, and laid by her veil from her, and put on the garment of her widowhood. And Judah sent the kid by the hand of his friend the Adullamite to receive his pledge from the woman's hand, but he found her not. Then he asked the men of that place, saying, Where is the harlot that was openly by the wayside? And they said, There was no harlot in this place. And he returned to Judah and said, I cannot find her. And also the men of that place said that there was no harlot in this place. And Judah said, Let her take it to her, lest we be shamed. Behold, I sent this kid, and thou hast not found her. And it came to pass about three months after that it was told Judah, saying, Tamar, thy daughter-in-law, hath played the harlot, and also, behold, she is with child by whoredom. 
And Judah said, bring her forth and let her be burnt. When she was brought forth, she sent to her father-in-law saying, by the man whose these are, am I with child? And she said, discern, I pray thee, whose are these, the signet and the bracelets and the staff? And Judah acknowledged them and said, she hath been more righteous than I, because that I gave her not to Shelah, my son, and he knew her again no more. And it came to pass in time of her travail that behold, twins were in her womb. And it came to pass when she traveled that the one put out his hand and the midwife took and bound upon his hand a scarlet thread saying, this came out first. And it came to pass as he drew back his hand, drew as he drew back his hand, that behold, his brother came out, and she said, How hast thou broken forth uh, this breach be upon thee? Therefore his name shall be called Pharez. And after came out his brother that had the scarlet thread upon his hand, and his name was called Zerah. That is the reading of chapter 38.